you a healthcare provider or a first responder working on the front lines during this pandemic? Then the lawyers at Chipman Mizuko Emerson would like to help. Many of you have been told that you should have updated wills and other important legal documents. We can help you get those documents in place to give you and your loved ones peace of mind. What are the documents that you should have in place? A power of attorney names somebody to handle your finances if you're unable to do so for yourself. So somebody to help pay your bills. A healthcare proxy names somebody to make healthcare decisions for you if you're too sick to make those decisions for yourself. Finally, a last will and testament sets forth your wishes regarding the distribution or disposition of your assets upon your death. So for example, who is to receive your bank accounts or your real property in the event of your premature death? It's pretty simple to get started. All you really need to do is answer four questions. Who do you trust with your finances? Who do you trust to make healthcare decisions for you? Who do you trust to take care of your minor children? And who do you trust to oversee the distribution of your assets upon your death? Regardless of what document we're talking about, we need to be sure that we're using full legal names for everybody that's named in the document. For each document, you'll need to choose a primary person to act. You should also consider choosing a backup, just in case. For your power of attorney, you should choose somebody that you trust with your finances. For your healthcare proxy, choose somebody that will make healthcare decisions consistent with your wishes. And then for your last will and testament, you will need to choose an executor, which is the person that's going to oversee the distribution of your assets at death. If you have minor children, you'll need to choose a guardian for those children. Finally, who's to receive your property at your death? For example, your bank accounts and real estate. Another thing to consider when thinking of healthcare decisions is whether you want a living will. A living will comes into play when somebody is terminally ill, permanently unconscious or brain dead, there's no hope of recovery, they're saying they don't want to be kept alive with machines. There's been some concern with COVID in how a living will may or may not come into play. If you contract the virus, for example, and you need to be put on a ventilator, would a living will prevent that? Keep in mind that the medical professionals will be relying on your healthcare representative to convey your wishes with respect to your care, whether that's a life support decision, a day-to-day -day healthcare decision that you can't make for yourself, or treatment with respect to COVID. Once you have the information together, give me a call. I'll take some information from you and ask you to email me a copy of your ID so that we can verify that you qualify for the program. We'll start to prepare the documents and then you'll just need to find two people who aren't named in the documents to serve as witnesses. On our end, we'll quickly and efficiently prepare your documents. We'll reach out to you to arrange a time for a video conference with you and your witnesses so you can sign remotely. After the signing, we'll get copies of the documents to you. As a special thank you, this Frontline Estate Plan package is offered at 50% off our regular costs. Eventually, things will settle down to whatever the new normal will look like. We can sit down face to face and talk about your estate plan and make sure that you have the right plan in place for you and your family.